now the next topic in bol concept is concentration terms molarity molality molarity mole fraction these are all concentration terms these we can apply mole concept in solutions now uh, relationship between mole fraction and molality this is important because it has some questions uh, like in aiee we have some questions based on the relationship between mole fraction and molality now there is a direct relation like molality is equal to 1000 into xi xi b xi b is actually the mole fraction of the solute over 1 minus xi b into ma ma is the uh, mol molar mass of the solvent also the molality and molarity are related by the formula m is equal to 1000 into m capital m m capital m means molarity now 1000 in over 1000 into d minus m into mb m is the molarity and mb is the molar mass of the solute d is the density of solution now let's take an example like mole fraction of the solute in benzene is 0.2 then the molality of the solution is now mole fraction is given to us and molality they have asked now, we can use the direct relation otherwise we have to uh, go by the long procedure like first we have to find out the number of moles number of moles then we find out the uh, mass of solvent in kg for finding molality so now in this case we can use the direct formula m is equal to 1000 into xi b over 1 minus xi b into mb now 1000 into 0.2 as the mole fraction is given 0.2 now over 0.8 means 1 minus xi b is 0.8 into now molar mass of the solute is 78 that comes out to be 3.2 now the next term in mole concept is the limiting reagent now limiting reagent the term itself means limiting means the uh, reagent that is totally consumed in the reaction consumed means uh, like uh, the one which we have in limiting amount now it determines the yield of the product formed now the, the other reagent is known as the excess reagent which cannot determine the yield of product now for example if we have 2 g n2 react with 16 g o2 now if we have to find uh, 16 g sorry h2 to form ammonia now calculate if we want to find out the amount of ammonia formed first we have to find out what, which one is our limiting reagent as uh, limiting reagent is determined uh, by the uh, like uh, the one which is in uh, limiting amount or less amount to us that first find out the number of moles now number of moles of n2 uh, we can calculate by mass over molecular mass that is the formula for finding out the number of moles now 2 over 28 is 1 by 14 now in case of h2 16 g h2 is given so 16 over 2 that is 8 now 8 uh, of, by if we decide the limiting reagent now the less amount is of n2 so n2 is our limiting reagent and which it decides the product formed now one mole of n2 gives two mole of ammonia according to this reaction now the balanced chemical equation always give the amount of uh, product formed so uh, one mole of n2 means 28 g so 28 g gives 34 g of ammonia now we can calculate easily the uh, amount of ammonia formed that is 2 g gives 34 over 28 into 2 which comes out to be 2.4 now 2.4 is the amount of ammonia formed 